guys. It's, I believe it's time for an HL scale update. This is also my 300th video. So thank you subscribers. Uh, thanks for watching my videos. I'm really happy with the views I've been getting. But anyways, this is just, like I said, all the HL scale stuff I haven't done a video about yet. I'm going to start row by row. I'm first going to start the engines and give you a little bit of information about those. Here is my Bachman CSX GP30. I purchased this for $10 from a guy who was getting rid of his train stuff. So yeah. It's, uh, it, it has some problems, it's a real loud engine, but it, it works good nonetheless. Here is my next engine, it's an Atherin Blue Box SW7, I'm not actually too sure what model it is, all I know is it's an EMD SW Switcher Series. I got this at a train show for $15, uh, it says maintenance away on it, uh, I'm not going to keep that, I'm just going to take the... Uh, Maintenance of way off, and on the side of the cab it says for maintenance of way use only. I'm going to take all those off. This is going to be my grain elevator switcher. The stripes and the engine number will stay, though. Here is my next engine. This was actually just a shell when I got it, but I had an Atherin uh, ready-to-roll frame for an F unit off my KCS. I swapped the shells. It's a Phase 3 Amtrak F unit. It's real neat. I'm going to detail it, put a K5 on the roof, uh, strobe light, stuff like that. Be pretty neat when it's done. Here is a Cato GP7 Chicago Northwestern. Uh, this is probably one of my best deals I've got ever on any model train thing. Uh, I paid about ten dollars for this engine. The guy who was selling it just wanted to get rid of the train stuff. He didn't really care. It, <laughs> he really didn't care too much about the prices. And for those of you who know, Cato engines are top of the line for HO scale and N scale. They're just stuff is just great. And for ten dollars, this, this thing runs amazing. And best deal I've ever gotten a model train. So yeah, ten dollar Cato. All right, moving out of engines now. Here's just some stuff. I got a speeder kit, two Fairmont speeder kits for five dollars. Some custom finishing. Bought them at a train show. Pretty good deal on those, I'd say. They're gonna when they're built, they'll look like those. Obviously, I'm gonna paint them yellow and detail them with strobe lights and horns and stuff like that. They're not operating, but they'll be really neat to put track side around a siding. Moving on to freight cars now, I have an Ann Arbor Railroad System uh, box car. It's a newer blue box run I got before they quit making them. Uh, metal wheels, knuckle clippers, the only problem is they drilled holes for the detail parts, but they're not big enough. So I have to re-drill basically all the holes. So it's going to be fun. Uh, next we got a Amtrak Phase 5 Express car. Uh, my friend Bryce got that for me for Christmas. Uh, I thank him a lot for that. It looks real nice with my Phase 4 Superliners. They basically look real good together. So, yeah. Now we got a Center Pacific 40 foot box car. My friend, that's an Atherin. Oh, this is a Warthers, by the way. That's my friend uh, Austin got the Center Pacific car for me. So, it's really neat. Thank you, Austin and Bryce, for those two. Move on to the next row of freight cars. Alright, here's the next row. First car is an undecorated Cole Hopper. That's a Warther's model. Uh, I got that for at Hobby Town USA for about three dollars. They were clearancing it out, so I'm gonna get that painted up in a paint scheme. It's gonna be fictional for the railroad I volunteer with. Since we don't own Hopper cars like that, I'm gonna paint it up just based off of one of our designs. Uh, the next one is an NS Cole Hopper. It's a Bachman. Got that for Christmas. Uh, another NS Claw Hoppers after that, that's a Bowser. My friend also got that for me. And the last car is a real grand box car. Got that for three dollars in an antique mall in Maumee. It needs weathering, but it's a really nice car, knuckle couplers and everything, so for three dollars you can't beat that. Here is the next row. There's a short GATX tank car I got. It's pretty neat. Needs some detail and work to it. Uh, the next car an Anderson's Covered Hopper. Uh, the Anderson's Corporation has two large grain elevators and a car repair shop, a freight car repair shop in my hometown. So well, this is pretty fitting to get. And the next two cars are intermodal cars. One's a front runner. I believe they're both. That's a Warther's, I'm pretty sure. And then the, that's an Athrin, just a regular one. I'm blue box. And they both came with trailers. I got those both for $12 at a show. So pretty good deal on that. All right, and here's another row. Um, this is an Evans box car I got. Uh, my name's Evans, so you know I thought this was kind of cool, kind of corny, but it's kind of neat. Plus, I always like these kind of box cars. The next car is a Wisconsin and Southern Atherin 60th, 60-year 60 anniversary box car. Got that at a show. 
I think I got both these cars for about five dollars. I think that's a pretty good price. Uh, next car is a Lenaway County box car for Michigan. It's an Athrum Blue box. It's pretty neat. And a Seaboard Coastline 40 foot high Q box car. Got that at a show too. This was like three dollars from a guy. And this was at a show. I got that for probably five dollars. So, alright, moving on to the last row of stuff. Here is my last row of cars. Got a Chase System, Blue Box, uh, Caboose. Needs some detailing work and a coupler on the other end. I got that for like $3 from a guy. Next one is a Gold West Service box car. That's a pretty neat car. Uh, got that for like $5. And last but not least, you've probably all seen this in a lot of my videos. I've had two videos about this already. My Metra uh, Three Brothers Coach Car Kit. It's an update, so I thought about it. I thought I should just include this one in there. So yeah, that's about all I got for freight cars, passenger cars, and locomotives recently. I only have a few more things to show you guys. Like I said, moving out of the freight cars, and passenger cars, and locomotives, we got buildings. This is a uh, Warther's uh, background building. It's some sort of mill. It's pretty neat. I just bought the mill, but stuff like this and uh, the dust collectors I got separately from a friend because... I bought this from a guy for like three dollars, just the building itself. The guy didn't really want anything like this anymore, so yeah, I got the dust collectors and stuff from a friend put together. It's gonna be a nice addition to my layout. Next, we got a signal bridge. Eh. I don't really know what kind of railroad the signal is just a fall, it's just a Bachman one. I don't think it's really prototypical the signal arrangement, but it's it's pretty neat. Here, last but not least, I got an HO scale boat for when I get a layout up, I'll have a scene of my bridges and stuff, and have a water scene. So, a layout is in the works right now. I've been saying that for a while. Some of you have been following me for over a year. I've been saying I've been needing a layout for a while. I'm working on cleaning and stuff for the layout. It's just been, I've been so busy recently, I haven't had time to do anything. But stuff right now, I'll do a temporary layout on my floor and have to do some rubbers of some of the new stuff I got so you guys can see some of my stuff running. So, alright, thanks for watching, guys. This is my 300th video. Thank you, subscribers.